Welcome back. Morning. Top of the top. Top of the morning. Top of the morning, everybody. We love you. We need you. We appreciate you. Hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog, which I know you did. By the comments, Trappy, on how many they pauses we missed. I love it, guys. I love the I love the per, uh, participation. You guys did awesome. You caught every second of it. Pause. <laughs> Um, we did a few things off camera. Pause. That's a great pause. That's, a, that's an amazing. That's pause. a great pause. Okay, we started Manolo yesterday. You won't hear it on in this vlog. I'm sorry to sadden you. Um, we're prepping to do other things, but we just wanted to make sure that we didn't have any oil leaks, any fuel leaks, and everything turned out to be fine. We'll talk more about it throughout the vlog. This vlog is dedicated to doing a brake tuck on a Honda Civic EK 1996 to 2000, same chassis. That's what we're doing on this vlog. We're utilizing the finishing lines. Uh, did I say it? Hold on, Trappy. Finish lines? Finishing lines. My man right here. Got in contact with him uh, via Instagram. Told them, uh, I'm not looking for nothing for free. Just take care of my followers. I want to address an elephant in the room, Trap. What are we talking about? I know a lot of you... Hmm. Talk about it. Real spill. I know a lot of you rely on me for sending you to the right places. And I value our relationship, Gunners, all my subscribers. I never want to lead you into the incorrect path. Now, the stuff with Stash Auto, I don't know what's gotten into him. I don't know if he got overwhelmed with all the work, but I had to move on. I've been waiting for brake lines just like you guys for Project Driver. For Manolo, Trap doesn't give a shit. He's just going to keep working. Yeah, do you think? No, no, do you think? Trust me, keep I'm doing your thing. Um, I had to go elsewhere. And again, Stefan, if you're watching this video, bro, you had such a great thing going, man. We've helped make you a lot of money. You've helped us save a lot of money. And uh, you've helped a couple of gunners out, and we appreciate you. But I just want to give you this, this out here in this part of the vlog. I hope you get your shit together, bro. Your parts are awesome too. But this video is dedicated to fit finishing lines. And um, this stuff so far, Trap, Great. top it. notch. We did um, the passenger side. Let's start the vlog. Keep gunning. Hey, did you like? Like, 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 like. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Okay, boys. You're not yanking all the way and trying to dump the back. That's it, man. Jeff is the owner of the car. This is his crew. She sound yesterday, Trappy. No. How Manolo sound? Great. It sounds crazy because they're gonna be like, oh yeah, but they did it. No, it really started like right away. Yeah, we <laughs> we did have some ground issues though. We had some ground issues, but after the grounding issues and everything was all powered up correctly. Guys, we tried to start the car with one ground. Here. Not gonna happen. And we always make that mistake because we think, you know, everything that we do, we did it right. We missed it. So we, when your main relay does a little funny clicking, that means you need ground. Yeah, yeah, guys, if you're not getting key on, if you don't hear your fuel pump, seven out of ten times, it's a ground issue. Added this simple, ugly ground from here to here. Had this one here to here, which definitely we're going to add way more grounds to this vehicle and a thicker gauge. Fired right up as soon as we put this ground right here. And that's a decent ground. That's not even great. That's a decent ground. So, again, car fired right up. 
uh, we had no leaks. We had no um, intake manifold leaks, no exhaust leaks here on the header. This header is not it, Trap. No, I think it needs I more think coating. It'll, I think it's it'll still get us by, but no. I think it needs two more coats. I'll talk to Mike about it because that thing got really hot within, I mean, a span of 15 seconds. Yeah, a few seconds it was hot already. Yeah, and we're running corn, which is a cooler fuel, so we shouldn't have felt it heat up that bad. Pause. Um, yeah. So I started on this side. Well, me and Trappy started on this side. Uh, we opted out and got the finishing line billet brackets to hold the um, the line, obviously. Really, really good parts. Quality parts comes with literally everything you need. Line holders here, bulkheads here, all the lines that you need to make it work. We opted out. I didn't want to get this in titanium. He offers it in titanium. I don't trust titanium when it gets hot. Guys, he didn't tell me about titanium because you guys know I would have said yes to titanium. No, I'm, I was not getting titanium because that stuff seizes up trap when it gets yeah, a little too hot. That's certain, but it's great. It's great with weight. It is great with weight. So we got rid of that. Um, what is that called, trap? What, buddy? The heat thing in here. I don't know. Is that like a well, fire retardant mat or something? You want to call it um dashboard carpet? Yeah. Yeah. The firewall carpet. Firewall carpet. <laughs> we got rid of the firewall carpet, drilled our bulkhead here just to see how this kit actually works. And it's really simple. And I'm going to make, me and Trappy are going to make all your lives super easy. This stuff from finishing lines is super accessible. I ordered it Friday. I got it Monday, Trappy. That's, that's good business. That's great business. Paid the man in full. Told him I was serious. I need the stuff quick. Pause. And it showed right up. So. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate good business, bro. We appreciate good business. A lot of us, whoever's watching right now, a lot of us gunners have money. We want to give you our money. And we want our product in return at a timely fashion. For anyone listening out there in the world. Me and my followers, me and my family, my gunners, my movement have no problem spending our money with you. We would just like our stuff in a timely, respectable fashion. We don't get none of this back. I wanted to cut the clip nah, there. No, 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 run it. We don't get none of this back. We're not getting Monday back. We got to keep it moving, boys. We got to keep working. We got to keep working. Did I talk to him about the oil cooler? Mm. I didn't. Ah, cover that. So a little stuff extra pause that we did behind the scenes, obviously, is the oil cooler. So we ended up mounting it here. Guys, in the comment section, please let me know. I've read it a few times. Are we going to get air pockets if we run this upside down, these hoses? Well, like the cooler upside down? Just comment below. Let me know if you've had any past experiences with it. This is the first time in my life ever, I've been racing since 15, I've ever used an oil cooler. Ever in my life. So anyway, dash 10. Coming over there, we put 180s, got clamp holders there for it. Clamp holders, line holders. There, bulkheads, dash 10, twin 90s running through there coming out of the engine bay with 245s into our set rab oil cooler adapter with thermostat. You tell them why we did that? Huh? You tell them why we ran bulkheads? Um, just to take the motor out easier. Yeah, you don't want Cleaner. to take the lines out at the cooler guys and have a mess. That, that makes a mess. I've dealt with oil coolers before. It makes a mess. So having those 45s up there with the fittings so if we ever have, so we actually when we do have to take the motor out, we're yeah. just gonna, we're just gonna unthread these two dash tens, put this like here, and then drop the motor. But that's what we got. Let's start covering some of this few um, brake line stuff. This was holding me up for a while, guys. I didn't understand it. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the suggestions. Everyone said since I was running this uh, Mini Cooper setup uh, here. I was going to need a one inch brake booster and I was afraid that the diameter of the nine and three wasn't going to match up. So Bobby 
said, hey, from Total, said, hey, I can get it for you. No worries. So this guy lines right up. It's perfect. We have a one-inch brake booster now. Right in the nick of time. Trappy's doing some fuel line stuff. I'll update you guys on that. We decided to put our regulator there and give you a better view of it. It's accessible. It's out of the way. It gets its job done. We found a hybrid um, fuel filter. We ran it just in case. We never really run fuel filters, Trap. Never. Because we trust our fuel that we get all the time. And plus, we have the little diaper in the fuel pump. But Trap also bought from Amazon a... Um, a nice a, an line a, cutter no it's not an 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 line cutter it's a cable tie cutter it's for it's for electrical cable but look how it cuts that's beautiful you want to share that share the Yo, name on it yeah yeah got it from these guys Thank great you. guys we great love guys. you great we guys love you. Over we don't want no problems we love you man just keep guys just keep there. making these parts affordable we're gonna buy them we love you we love you we don't care what the else they talking about but yeah you want to talk about that fitting that um, you put on there? Yeah, Boss? so so on Project Driver, like we have this line clamped and it's like one of the things I hate the most about the car. So we got a 5 16 to 6 a.m. Uh, it's like a compression union, but it's not, that's not the size, guys. It's, it's it off no, by no. like, no, it came in like, it, it's from Amazon, it came in a little baggy. Could have, could have maybe had an eighth in there one time in his life. Before. Um, it's not five sixteenths to six a.n. You'll see it, it's like thirteen bucks. It's gonna, it doesn't fit right on because this is Japanese. That's probably Chinese. You have to. I, I was messing with it for a while with the drill bit. That's what I was doing throughout the intro. Y'all was hearing me. I was kind of like machining away at it, but I got it to fit. Yeah, yeah, that mess right there, that mess right there, that was me, <laughs> that was me getting our fuel line system ready. Um, it worked, it, we'll find out if it works well, but I, I just kind of just skimmed away until it was a tight fit, pause, and um, I just like it better than clamps. But what we did have to use a clamp on was on the return, and I went and got the little compression joints. Yeah, check me out. Very nice. Check me out. Very nice. Check me out. Man. Very nice. It's like you stepped it up from having a potato on, on the muzzle yeah, put to the, a laser. Yeah, I put the laser on. Put a laser on there. So dash six. Um, dash six feet in return. Dash six feet in return coming off both those factory lines into our dash six fuel filter here. And then we ran a dash eight up to here. And we're good to go. So uh, Keep this running. We're about to finish the fuel system. All right. Might as well. uh, I don't know. Can I share a part number here? Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah, Let's share a part, part number. 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 Centric parts. This is the part number for a one inch brake booster that fits a um, 96 non ABS brake booster. Master cylinder. There goes a part number. What maybe, a task to maybe, get that booster. Maybe, no, it was. Maybe you can find um, this on Amazon or something. There goes your part number. You got it? The old fuel lines in the bay getting done, you know? The old fuel liner. The old AN wrench. <laughs> guys, when you're putting uh, ANs on. Make sure that matches up. Yeah, please. Right come on, please, guys. make sure that. You guys can work clean. Come on, too, come on. You guys can work. I think it's time to retire that. Um, come on, chill out. I think it's time to retire chill that. Chill out. Match. Chill out. They all match. Chill out. Yo, Trap, I'll be looking at cars. No one zooms in on IG more than me. Nobody. No, 100%. I've seen some of the stuff you sent me. <laughs> yeah. Was... Yo, I be I be disgusted sometimes. No, child. I feel bad for some of these people, man. Cause it's like, damn, like I know what it's like to the, do the, the right. The best, job. the best one is the fuel filter on that raffle car. The fuel filter on the raffle car with the factory filter, hilarious. And the Bands CTR the and the CTR replica with drums in the back. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That was one. fire. You know what was what was one of my favorites? The dash sixteen AN to silicone hose with the worm clamp. On. Yeah, that was fire. That was hard. Yeah, that was fire. Um, Son told me to hold his beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we that heard was you. fire. We heard ain't nobody, you. Hey, ain't nobody fucking with us on YouTube, bro. Building a car. Good luck, man. We do shit like that.
Yeah, we do shit like this. You know, we use worm clamp yeah, on the other side. <laughs> but it's a compression clamp, so relax. You want to test for fuel? We can't fire it up because I don't have a crank sensor. I had the Rob PD's crank sensor yesterday to fire this um, car up. Yeah, I think we can just fire it up. Uh, got a main relay in here. I think, I think we can get, hold on. Need battery. Long clip again, Trap. Long clip. All right, got a main relay in here. You wanna um, you wanna prime it mm -hmm. while I'll see if you have a fuel leak. I don't know. Here we go, guys. Wish us luck. We just talked. We just talked a lot of shit too. I hope this works. Don't worry. I hope I nail it. Go ahead, man. I'm not gonna hold you. You're not leaking. Pause. Got fuel pressure? Holding 30? No, sir. You've got no fuel leak holding 30 pounds. You might want you wanna crank that up a little bit? See if it can hold like a little standard 60? Bro, if it holds 30, it's gonna hold 60. That's that that's on there. Not one leak trap, you're good to go. Right, this is a six, it's, it's been a six and a half minute, uh, almost seven minute clip. Six minute fuel system. Done. Very easy. You know what? Let's keep this clip going to show you what we did here. We did an eight to an eight here on the regulator. Inline filter off of a six and a six here on the return. Well, no, that's your feed, that's your return there. Done. Super simple out the way. We didn't do the shock tower because we have a we have uh, a catch can. A catch can that's on the way. Uh, kind of like the AKs, if you know, you know. Big shout out to uh, FCS. FCS. I love you, Jason. Our Parks. brother, our brother you. Jason FCS. I love you, um, Carter. On this car that isn't gonna make crazy power. We don't need to run a eight and a six return like to the tank. It's not nothing crazy. So mm. we, that's why we did sixes. It's Absolutely. simple. It works. Like Absolutely. Let me get rid of some of this power off this car. We're yeah. slowly learning, guys. This is not about power. It's I think this road racing stuff chat is is about driver skill. One hundred percent. It's definitely driver skill and experience because nothing beats that. But. I think it's the most efficient vehicle. I think us building like a properly built efficient vehicle that we're just gonna go in. Endurance. Who Look, can last the 12 God rounds, willing, pause. Yeah, God willing, we're Who just can last the 12 rounds, pause. Throwing gas in this thing. And this might it. be one of our longest clips. I'm gonna keep it nah, going. Nah, nah, we, I stopped on that 750 one time. Where are we at? 809. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is might it. be this one of our it. longest clips. Like the video clip. for the long clip, pause. Word, somebody like the video, man. There's a lot of gems <laughs> in this little clip right here. Um, let's, get, let's get to work on this brake line stuff. Finishing line, caliper line. So he sells them with a billet um, cable holder, throttle, Throttle cable? Throttle cable holder. Throttle cable holder. Throttle cable holder. He sells it billet or plastic. Uh, I paid an extra 50 bucks and got the billet because everything billet sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Everything billet sounds cool. Everything billet so sounds cool. So first thing I want to do here is just put my line on. I've got my crush washers. You put them on uh, the opposite ends, away from each other. Thread that in by hand. Again, you don't want to do anything uh, brake line related with any tools quite yet. And since the camera's on, it makes everything difficult. Every time. Never fails. The other one I put on... Slightly down. Slightly down. By mistake. Yeah, the other one fell on. This is, this is fire. <laughs> this is fire. I can't even get a brake line on. Now I have to go and do the old, the, oh my God, yo, trap, my knee's been cracking every time, bro. Yeah, yeah, Getting it's old. the age. Can't even get a brake line on, kid. There it is. Okay. That's on by hand. Again, you kind of want to just, kind of want to just go loose on everything, pause, so you could just see which way stuff bends. So the next thing I'll do is... I'll get my 10 mils on, get some fresh clean ones, because everything matters when you're working on a car. If you're meticulous like us, these bolts, if you put them on dirty, or you could have did a better job picking better bolts, 
It will haunt you at night. You'll think about it like, man, I could have put a better 10 mil. But that's there. I have a feeling you're messing this clip up, Trap. I have a feeling I'm having a hard time editing what you're Yo, right. yo, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right them. now. They better get in them comments and, and tell me I didn't kill it with the, with the, I ain't kill it with this. I ain't kill it with that. You a hater if you say I ain't kill it with that. Okay, you got your line holder here. Hammer, please. This, uh, this is pissing me off today. I don't know why. I, don't, nope. I, don't. Nope. I might cancel the vlog, Trap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all things, camera. Things it's are, all, let me let me get the light. Let me get the light. Things are not the, things are things are not the way I uh, planned them to be today. This isn't what you. This isn't what you woke up to. This is really starting to piss me off today. I might end the vlog now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we got like four four long clips. It might be a good lengthy vlog it still. It might be still a good yeah. lengthy vlog. All right, guys, we'll catch you for part two. <laughs> Second line into your wheel well. Just thread that in here just so you can get your accurate uh, measurement. Again, by hand all the way down. And now we know that this is our area for the bulkhead. We want it to hug this wall here. We want it to hug the frame. So most likely we're gonna go somewhere in this corner on our bulkhead. It looks like it's gonna be here because that's a flat surface. So I'll get my punch, I'll mark here, we'll drill, put the bulkhead through, tighten the bulkhead, and then from there, work on the lines inside. I found my mark, I'm just gonna go right about as close as I can here because it's gonna be very difficult to get in this corner because of this factory seam seal. So I'll, instead of just chipping and, you know, maybe creating a surface to where rust can happen trap, mm -hmm. we'll just move over. We'll just move over just a little bit to where we can get that bulkhead in. Pause. And that's nice. So, got a simple drill bit. Used it short. Used it short. Is the camera on? No, it's off. It's, it's off. No wonder. Pause. That's our hole. It's in a real iffy spot here. I'm gonna show you guys where it's at. Right. There, so you kind of get to get to that little edge of material from the second layer, but you'll see right now what I mean. It's in a bad spot, right? Pause. Yeah, it's in the little. It's in the. It's it's behind that extra second little layer, but. But it's actually better than the last time we did it because... On Kobe? Yeah, you're going to see it. On Kobe, we were a little bit more to the right, so I had to get crazy with the grinder. Bulkhead. You're going to send the long part through, not the short part, obviously. It's not obvious, we teach. We're that's, just teaching that's a, that, that's a pause. That's a pause. I'll pause for him. That's a pause. And we still have to cut that up, right? Yeah, uh, but run it through. I want to see something. It's in there. It's, it, it's in there? Yeah, you guys see it doesn't get through that second layer. Yeah, we're going to have to open that up. But I like the snug fit on here too, pause. Let me get over there and check that out. Look at that. So basically, technically, ironically, something else with a clee. <laughs> yeah. That's going to go like that. Cameras. Camera? Cameras. Camera? Camera. Camera. Today's your day. Your day for things not working out during the <laughs> It's usually me. It's usually me. But um It's hard because I have to like kind of pull back, pause. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's work on that um that's that 
that layer inside so we can get this bulkhead on and we'll be done with front front um, line strap. Give me the old scalpel. Give me the old scalpel. I'm gonna get it in there. Let's get light from the drill. Guys, if, guys, guys, this is experience here, guys. Chill out. This is trial and error here. <laughs> the pedal would. The pedal would be directly in the way of it. to go more trap you know why because it's a 90 yeah I see it and I need to get the wrench in there yeah and all that um honestly to play it safe I think I should just take the cutter just cut it right off yeah I can I can go like I can like go like right here up and then down and then yep. just get this whole second layer off because I can get to the bulkhead and everything but and then you're, yeah, because the, the line that comes out of there to the uh, proportioning valve yeah, this is line, not going to work. Yeah, this line runs that way. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I'll take, I'll just cut this off. See where this is going. 13 mil on the bulkhead. I'm gonna take that, send that through here. Again, you want kind of a snug fit. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to just give you some good um, footage here. So Trappy's grabbing the other end of it. Pause. I'm gonna hold this side of it. Pause with a 13 he's gonna ratchet on the other side and we're good to go is it ratchet on the other side of pause I don't know you guys you guys determine that I got good tension on there yeah that's snug that's not going nowhere how's yours looking there pause uh, you're right there Nice. Perfect. Now you have the other line for inside, right? Yep. Now this line goes line. from there to the T on the proportion belt. Yes, sir. So let me just, uh, oh, I can do it now with one hand easily because this had to get pushed back a little bit. Pause. So here you go. And I jinxed myself. 100% jinxed myself. Yeah? Yep. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> No, I didn't. Yeah? Yeah. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, now we can hug that wall here. See how flush that is? This won't be in our way. Our wheel won't hit this. Nothing. We're good to go. Remember, we did our contact points to see where uh, the tire would uh, eventually hit somewhere. But nothing here. Nothing in this area. And we're safe. So nothing actually getting fully tightened quite yet. We'll do it in sections. Pause. Me and Trap will take on this side. We'll go to the master. We still got a couple of more bulkheads that we got to put through for the master cylinder. And that's it. So, so far, so good. This vlog How is very you guys informative. Cut? About this much. About that much. And then you just bang in the rest, pause. Yeah. All right, let's move forward. Okay, Trappy, so our one inch brake master cylinder is in. Pause. Now, we need to find this 
bag is labeled so nice. All these bags are labeled. So this one says master cylinder to front T fitting. Master cylinder to front T fitting. Why is that a T on the outside? Because uh, the proportion valve doesn't go to the fronts. It's already split at the master cylinder. So it just gets T left, right, and then rear gets the proportion because it's already it's shooting too much mm -hmm. so the proportion is to regulate it now. Pause on the shooting too much. Yeah, pause on the shooting. So let's uh let's see what uh, what other fittings we need here. So this one this So master cylinder to proportioning valve. Proportioning valve to rear T fitting and then these are the rear lines. So we need to cut we need to take this one out, Jack. Let me get a razor. Okay, folks, here we go. Coming off of the brake master cylinder. We are going to put one bulkhead here. Trappy has already punched there. The second one that gets the T is going to go here to the bottom one. So we're going to have a nice, um, a nice looking setup under the engine bay. Look at that. Very clean. Let's get uh, let's get some holes in this firewall. That's why it's always good to punch, so you can have a guideline for your drill bit. Honestly guys, this is one of the most beneficial tools we have in the garage. It keeps everything clean, centered, very cheap. This kit that I got, I always emphasize on it. I don't even know where it is. Right here. Hello. You'll be out soon. Relax. This kit right here, man, is incredible. Comes with three different cones. Four different cones, I apologize. And your punch. Just hang in there for two seconds. Yep. Here you go. Trap's gonna thread that in. Again, a good snug fit against the firewall. It's very important. You don't want loose bulkheads, guys. Then it makes no sense of having a bulkhead. So take your time, don't over drill. Again, measure, measure twice, cut once. Sending you the next one. Well, no. I'm ready to tighten too. Well, wait a second, wait a second. That one goes in from my side. It does? Yep. So I then go why this. is the bulkhead gonna be out? It's supposed because to go. that has a T on it. Okay. That's the, these are the funnels. Okay. I'm sworn it went the other way. See, I don't, I'm not. That's going to stick out too much. Pause. Okay. So inside there, your T, right? One. Yeah, because the front, the front doesn't go through the proportion valve. So the front just gets T. So that's why he. Trap, he this battery's going to die. This is crazy, bro. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, our bulkheads are in. You need me to hold the bottom one? Uh, I'm here. So, bulkheads are into the firewall. Nice and clean. Again, it's a 13 mil on each side. And we're just tightening. What's up? Can I tighten?
What, you're trying to face your T the right way? Yeah. So, the way I'm trying to do it. Give me a second. Let me get you guys a better angle. So I'm trying to run this line. I don't want to run it under the pedals. Uh-huh. And be careful with our throttle cable. You yeah. see it? It's going to rub there. Yeah, so we don't I want, want that break line. line. See if you can go over that little cushion that we got there. Pause. Yeah. Oh, and then that'll good. hold the line up. Yeah, I think I can. From this side. Throw. Yeah, Fisher, fish her through, bud. Yeah, yeah, let me just throw Fisher it. Fisher through. Yeah, we just want to make sure we don't have nothing in the, in the way of our pedals. Cushion might be ruining it for us. This? I have a ring right here. You need it. It's so weird to see bulkheads like in a Honda firewall. Because we've never been to. <laughs> Honda people never use bulkheads before. Nah, they were running a line straight through it. Absolutely. We just made a hole. That's a fact. Damn. I don't think I need to do there, but... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. He's fishing. He's fishing, folks. He's fishing. What'd you catch? What'd you catch? A flounder? Striped bass? Rainbow trout? Carp, carp. It's salmon season. We should go deep sea fishing. Just go out there and just hit the open water. Word, man. I would love to go to like Florida and those nice boats with, with those white people. Yeah. Catch like a marlin. I want to put the like heavy sunblock on my nose. And just. I want to sit in that seat that they be having on that boat. And like they strap in, pause. Yeah, yeah. They're and they like, like they just fighting a fish four, for three five hours. Hour fight. Yeah. As just... long as I got a like a Pepsi and cigarettes, I'll fight that. I'll fight that some of bitch. You got good twelve hour fighting. I'll fight that some of bitch all night. <laughs> all night, pause. I will kill that Marlin you with know, my bare like... hands. I'll dive in there when he's about six feet out. <laughs> Go get him. I'll, bring him back. Yeah. Bring him back like yeah. this under your arm. Just keep the cigarette lit for me. <laughs> just keep it lit. Got yeah. him, boys. I got, got him. him. We got, got him, him boys. right in. I'll gut him and clean him underwater by myself. <laughs> you coming back up with fillets? I'm coming back up with him skinned. Um, I'm somewhere over here, boys. I'm just trying to. All right, so he's somewhere around the uh, the lines are there, and we just got to split left and right. And you see this guy here. That's a very nice. Oh, uh, trap. Where? Where are you putting this line? So this line goes to the T. Oh, and you're putting it up. Yeah, so I want to run, I want to try to run this as up as possible, up and out the way. Mm hmm So it'll be straight here, and then the 90 on here. And then the fronts are done. Okay. And then this line goes to our proportioning valve, which we want to mock up somewhere around here. And then the out, and then the T, the excuse me, and we're pretty much set. Boys. I killed the polar bear with my bare hands when I was 14 years old. I was out on a scavenge hunt. And I was just trying to find myself. Just took him out? Killed him with my bare hands. That's pretty sick. Then I gave agree. him mouth to mouth and brought him back to brought life. Brought him back? Yeah. So, so you just completed the circle of life. That's fine. I like to do shit on Tuesdays. We've got our driver's side brake line connected to the T. This is our passenger side. Um, this line, you can actually just angle it any way that you want. Nice and clean. Sorry about the focus. There it is, much better. So coming out of the firewall on top of there, we can definitely strap it to the firewall too, Trap. Mm-hmm. Is the bulkheads both tight? Do we tighten them? Uh, did we? No, this, one, this bottom one isn't tight because I didn't know where I was going yet. Mm -hmm. I could still tighten it from the other side. Pause. So I want to be like kind of up and out the way because we're never going to really touch brake yeah, lines after this. Gonna, yep, that's it. So, probably run this 90 straight up like mm -hmm. this. 
about the way this goes to the proportion about this I'm gonna put I wanted to run it up and over it doesn't run up and over it's down and out the way how's our clutch pedal touches so, yeah like it's it's really close guys we we called it close because of remember our undercoating we said we didn't want to go too far mm -hmm. the thing is where we're at i think if we would have went too far mm -hmm. we would have been directly underneath the the clutch pedal yeah. but like this we miss it and we never use our complete pedal if you're using your complete pedal something's wrong absolutely you have a pedal stop on there too yeah so we're golden. All right, so front basically is yeah, done. Yeah, uh, throttle's good. Yeah, we put our throttle cable on uh, just to make sure that it doesn't touch that bottom line and it clears. Go ahead, Trap. And this line, I'm gonna have it like. Yeah, we're gonna strap all that up nice and clean. Pause. So, fairly easy. Um, Super simple once yeah. you get the understanding of it. Absolutely. So, front brake line bulkhead setup is done. It's done. A little bit of a cleanup real quick because we're just starting to have too much stuff laying around. Uh, we have our proportioning valve all set up. Again, I'd like to have this set up into the climate control so we're able to control it as we're driving uh, and racing the car. So if we've got a little bit too much brake in the back, pause, we'll move and shift more weight pressure to more brake pressure to the front. So this is all set up. We've got one line that's gonna get T to the rear, obviously. Uh, we don't have our trailer arms yet. Remember, they're getting um, reinforced. So we'll probably just have everything laid out to where we just button it up to our calipers. And for our calipers, we're doing some funky stuff in the rear too, pause. Brakes, yeah. car runs. I went like over it? my fault. I just because I want to say it on camera and I want to remind you. I tightened everything, everything here. In the front, both sides. Yes, everything oh, here. That's a care of all. I the tightened inside. firewall. I tightened um, master cylinder. I tightened this side here. I put Teflon on these two fittings, and we're ready for setting up the rear lines. But I'm not in that, a rush. Yeah, that we're not getting crazy on it because we want to. Um, we we got to move it around. Out. Yeah. Yeah, we want to center mount that. But the rear is super simple. The rear is literally one line to a T. So. Yeah, very easy. One line to a T, and then split in the back. Pause. Go from left to right. But there it is, man. It's looking really good. Look how well it cleaned up here too. Very nice. I don't want to sound biased because uh, our boy like hooked us up. But like the quality on these lines, I love it. Uh, they fit well, super simple. Definitely not overwhelming. If you can read, you can definitely do this kit. Yeah, it's not it's not hard at all, Gunners. And um, you know, again, bro, it's like when we endorse people, man, we just expect them to do the right thing. You know, again, I'm not trying to kick Stash Autos back in. He's a great dude. Yeah. Stefan has always helped us. No hard feelings, brother, but we just can't sit away for nobody. We really can't. We don't got that luxury. We don't got that time. Yeah, Trap, I would love to build three, four cars a year. Yeah. Like, I want to take three months per car execution. Yeah. But unfortunately, waiting for fabrication, waiting, waiting for, fabrication, for parts, waiting for parts it's, it's, it's not it's happening. Tough. Yeah, like this channel, that's another thing. Like, I just don't want this channel, Trap, to just focus on one car. Yeah. If, if we had the time and the space... Be game over. We can get if we it. had the space, so for instance, if we had the space and we were waiting, for instance, like the struts, but we had another car that the parts are here yeah. for, we can just work yeah. on the other car and just have different type of content. Yeah. But then again, it's just a road that we have to go down. It's a, it's a hill that we have to climb. And one day, we will be building two, three cars at the same time. Yeah. Sort of like Jimmy Oaks. Like, I love yeah. what Jimmy does. It's I never like Jimmy does. It's never he like the same it. car, you know? He definitely He's, jumps around from car to car. It's, that's, that's, a, that's a good luxury that he has there. Yeah. And he does nice work. He does. He does really good, Jimmy. And, you know, see, Jimmy's a YouTuber. And Jimmy knows that relying on someone, you're going to lose your content. So you're going to lose your so audience out to get multiple sources. So now he's got, but, but he also learned how to tune. 
Mm-hmm. He learned how to do his own wiring. He learned how to um, weld. He yeah. learned how, you know, basically he bought a dyno. Like yeah. this guy is the epitome of progression. Yeah, he really is. I That's swear to God, cool. I love Jimmy Oaks, I man. Love I love Oaks. like, I love the, I love the, the hunger, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I he's, love it. He's always getting it, bro. When it comes to like, the whole content creator thing, guys, it's not easy. No. It's not easy. Yo, you, you'd be like, oh, hi, we do mad cool stuff. We could record everything. Yo, yeah, it's right. It's not that no, simple, it's guys, not that I promise simple. you. Because I, I think of it and I'm like, yeah, we got a lot to cover. If we got no parts, we're, we're sitting down at like one o'clock figuring yeah. out what to eat because we all out. Yeah, speaking of food, we need to get some food. Yeah, of course. It's the nicest. It's the nicest. Okay, so a um, little bit different talking here, Lyft. A little bit different than our previous kit. I like this one better. Yeah. I like I like this one better. I don't want to be biased, but no, absolutely. So in the other one, we would run that line and leave it outside with a T. This one, get yeah, strapped. You know what? Break it down. All right, super, super simple. The front fitting on the master cylinder when you're looking at it is for the front of the car. So that, that's the one that goes down here and splits into a T. You got driver side brake caliper, passenger side brake caliper. The rear fitting on the master cylinder is a single bulkhead, right? Goes from the back of the master cylinder through the firewall into the, is labeled in, 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 out, Down outside the, the car, out, outside the car, follows the tunnel to a T, right, left, if you're driving, left, right, goes underneath the car, all we did was push those grommets out and push the line straight through. If if need be, you can make a slit. Yeah, when we get our, our cables, I'll, I'll like run them through the grommet nice, but those, we're gonna take those out anyway. Absolutely, so we're just using this for demonstration purposes. Now let's show you under the car how everything is going to line up. Hi, PD. over guys gunner reds here he says our wing is riced out l l listen 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 to him he revs to 6000 rpms to just he's like parking. move to he's parking he lives in first gear gunner red lives in first gear trap yeah, yeah. When they ask Yo, where you live at, yo? First gear. First gear, I need a lot. Yeah, come on. Come on. We know what you're here for. Come on. Let's hear it. All right, Trap. Break down this right, uh, line so here. Back up. Uh, picking back. up where we left off. Exactly. Off of the T. Ran it under the brake line here, under this bracket. Very simple, very clean. You meet it right here. What happened? Let's hear it. What happened? I thought about it halfway up the block, and that's why I ain't rev up because I figured you was recording. Ah! Uh, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always know I was coming up to the block high and heavy. Part on the left. <laughs> Part on the left. Yeah. Every time, uh, every time Chrissy gets a bolt on, he makes sure we know it. <laughs> he pulls up. He pulls, he pulls up. up. I got a new upgrade, guys. Okay. Um, off of the T, the left, right. This is gonna meet up here. We're not putting it on because we don't. Plenty. Have it on. Plenty of yeah. spaces to tie this guy up nice and clean. I would just, honestly, I'd follow the e-brake line. It's such a yeah, clean line. Absolutely. You're gonna and it's, it. And I'm sorry, it's stationary, so it's not moving. You'll be fine. You're, you're gonna be up there. Right, right there. On there. You're gonna meet that. Obviously, guys, if we had our trailer arms, we would just fully install yeah, this install. and start showing you how to bleed it, this is which where is very easy. This is where you're gonna be at. But roughly, give or take, 
There it is. Your brake line tuck is finished. Very, very easy. Um, more billet. No, yeah. I, I paid fifty dollars for that. I want yeah. to show it. Oh, yeah, no, no, I show paid it, show fifty dollars. Look at the CNC. Yeah. Look at the craftsmanship. Yeah. Um, I won't lie to you guys. This is dummy proof. All you have yeah. to do is follow directions, follow the labels on the bag, and with the billet end cap to yo nah. Great kit, guys. Really Very great nice kit. kit. And if again, it's so it's so well labeled. I mean, anybody can do it. I love this muffler. That's it, right? I mean, yeah. We just wait for our trailing arms and our suspension to work. What do we got left? We have exhaust to cut up and mock up for the fat guys. That's right there. We're gonna do that here too, because Ben Welds can come through with yep. Joel. We have our rear trailing arm installed with all our stuff that we have all our parts waiting. We have our coilovers that we're waiting on. And um Yeah, what's good yeah, over there, cousin? Yeah, 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 that's the right one. Yeah. 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 That's the yeah. right K right yeah. there. Yeah, that Yeah, that's that the right way. K. No. Crate motor, man. <laughs> Yo, sorry about that, guys. You remember where you were at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um after the exhaust, finish up the coolant that um they're they're helping us out with too and not one leak on this guy, Trap. Yeah. Not one leak Come on this on. unit. Come on. Um, I plugged this up because we're not ready. You know, we should attack wiring tomorrow. What are you thinking? I'm thinking um, uh, oil temp, oil pressure, oh, yeah. air fuel, Get our and right. water temp. I think after gauges and like just waiting on the stuff. Oh, I promise to show you. I'm sorry, Trap. Damn, I, I stay cutting you off, bro. No, no, that's straight. Show, show them that. I got I a thermostat in I the forgot. Show. I forgot to show you guys this set rab um, oil filter adapter for the oil cooler. Very, very nice unit. Built in thermostat. I also uh, purchased the spacer just to make sure that that. Is Not safe and sound. Our belt is on. Everything is beautiful. There's nothing that's going to rub there. Nothing. Pause. Back to you. We're, we have such minimal stuff. And as soon as we get things in, we're trying to leave this car to just button it right back up. As soon as everything's in. Button everything right back up. And as soon as, soon as we can get to the track trap, I'm thinking hot. I'm thinking somewhere hot. I'm thinking... um. I'm thinking Texas, maybe Florida, somewhere, somewhere nice. Might as well. We haven't raced in a while, Trap. They probably think we're washed. <laughs> they think we're washed. You guys think we're washed? Yeah, we're probably washed. This guy knows we're not washed. Making a quick trip here, boys. A little change of scenery again. Yeah, a little. Yeah, we've been, we've been out of the garage too much, yeah, man. We've been, we've been playing around too much, man. Uh, Chrissy's behind us. Pause. It feels, like, it feels like he's... And it feels like he's in the back seat. Pause. All we can hear is first and second gear. That's it. Listen. Oh, oh, oh that's a hill. Hear him, hear him. <laughs> Whatever, you get it. We're heading up to uh, see my boy uh, Joel. Remember, uh, he was working on the gussets for the trailer arms. We got our Dash 16 aluminum weld on bungs. Um, we got to get that radiator situated, yeah, Travi. Yeah. That's the only thing that's holding us up, kind of, from uh, like really finalizing the engine bay is uh, the coolant. So we'll knock that out, and uh, we'll be there like right now. Told you we were here. Told you we'd be back. Talk about it, Joel. What'd you do? what'd you rig up here for us, pal? So we have uh, I think this is two two inch or inch and a half pipe that uh, we cut like about two and a half inches off of. Mm -hmm. Cut a little back plate. Took shaved some of the top off so mm -hmm. it could go over it. And nice. that's how it's gonna sit Very on nice. the bung. It's gonna sit right in there. I'm gonna weld this shot. Nice. You see, because we couldn't we couldn't use this guy here because it's too close to the thermostat housing. So by us using a short line, we were definitely gonna have overheating issues. So we moved it to this side and we're just gonna swing up a 90, come across, come across. this way, and then figure out the situation when we get there. So 
That looks great, bro. Thank you. That's great craftsmanship. Stitched. Basically, we mimicked right here. Same thing, yeah. Yeah, same thing. Just a little bit bigger, which is better for us, Pause. And then the spiral fan holder, I will have to just shave, just like tip off of it. Please pause, too. Please pause, because that was crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to shave about like a quarter of an inch up just nice. to give it space. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to get affected by this, right? Yeah. Man, that sits so nice, though, bro. Appreciate it. Wow, great job, man. Great job. Awesome. All right, so weld on the 16 to there. And our radiator situation should be done. I'll order one more fan, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll go from there, Trappy Buckets. Well, Gunners, that concludes another episode on the Keep Gunning channel. Um, we're done for the day. We're going to go grab some food real quick, chop it up, come up with a game plan for tomorrow. We lost Chrissy. I don't know where he is. He, lost he was supposed to make this right over here by Frederick, and we lost Chris. But I think he has to go pick up Nori from the airport, so maybe that's what he left to do. Anywho, um, yeah, give us some feedback, man. Um, finishing, finishing lines. Oh my God, Trap, look, she can barely handle that dog. Oh, guys, you guys got a bonus. You guys got a bonus. She could barely handle that dog. Look at her. Look at her. That thing's walking her. Look at that dog walking her. That thing's walking yeah, her. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, we All right, um, finishing lines. I'll put his um, website in the description. Trap, he's got some nice work on there, bro. Yeah. He's got some really clean work. He does some really clean hard lines, paws. Again, just giving my flowers out. Um, big shout out to everybody out there that's improving in life, that's improving into their builds. No one believes in none of you motherfuckers. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself, Gunners. Please, man, don't wait for someone to give you a pat on the back to go the extra mile, to complete what you've been doing. Don't wait for people's gratitude, for their uh, justification, for, for their approval. Go out there and execute. You watch us execute every single vlog. You know what comment I seen the most today on Instagram, Trap? What was it? You guys just got that car. Word. I don't think, I think we, I think we got slowed up. We I definitely got racing. slowed up. We should be racing already. Word. So, I don't know, man. I don't know yeah, if you needed uh, that. It's actually uh, day 48 today. So we Is turned it? the car on. On the 47th day of starting to work on that's that. fire. Didn't even know that. That's pretty yeah. dope. I be counting. I be keeping that's score. That's dope. I be keeping score just just to know I I be stepping on these niggas. You had to say that. Like the video. Keep going.